Hi, I'm Isaac Orr, and I research the intersection of policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. I'd like to dispel some myths about the health effects of fracking. I'm on a farm in Pennsylvania, and right behind me are several natural gas wells and tanks. Some people who oppose fracking claim it poses significant threats to people's health. For example, there were studies by the Colorado School of Public Health that claimed fracking resulted in birth defects in children near fracking sites. Another study claims fracking for natural gas was responsible for higher rates of hospitalizations in rural Pennsylvania. And then there was the well-publicized study New York Governor Andrew Cuomo used in justifying his ban on fracking in New York. But these studies are not credible. Though researchers at the Colorado School of Public Health claimed fracking was causing birth defects, the researchers did not collect data on whether or not the pregnant mothers in the study smoked cigarettes, drank alcohol, or had access to prenatal care during their pregnancy. As a result, Larry Walk, the chief medical officer at the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, disavowed the study, stating the reader of the study could easily be misled and become overly concerned. The Pennsylvania study on hospitalizations claimed exposure to chemicals used in the fracking process were associated with greater rates of hospitalization for heart, skin, and nervous system conditions. But once more, the research was not thorough. Researchers did not sample the air or water in these areas to determine whether these chemicals were actually present, or to see if they had been impacted by area residents. But what about the increase in hospitalizations? According to Dr. Ted Them, a specialist in environmental medicine, the study was conducted while a major area hospital was being expanded, allowing them to care for more patients, hence the increase. Finally, there's the flawed study by the New York Department of Health. Governor Andrew Cuomo used the thoroughly discredited report from Colorado to justify his fracking ban. The study also cited risks to the water supply as a reason to ban fracking, even though the EPA found no evidence fracking poses a significant threat to drinking water. Lastly, despite conducting the study for six years, the study was unable to produce one instance in which it could be proved that fracking could be causally linked to negative health effects. Responsible scientists like Dr. Them, who conducted an analysis of the health impacts of hydraulic fracturing in nine states in the Marcellus Shale and found no adverse health impacts associated with fracking, have shown fracking does not pose significant health risks. This is Isaac Orr for the Heartland Institute.